Dear students, in this topic we shall discuss insulin and glucagon hormones produced by the pancreas. Pancreas is a dual gland having exocrine as well as endocrine functions. It is composed of two types of tissues. One tissue is known as the acinus, which is exocrine. The other tissues include the islets of Langerhans, which are endocrine in function. We shall discuss islets of Langerhans as endocrine tissue in detail. The islets of Langerhans have four types of secretory cells. First, beta cells, which constitute about 60% of the islets and they produce the hormone insulin. The second type of endocrine cells in the islets of Langerhans are alpha cells, which constitute about 25% of the islets and produce the hormone glucagon. The third type of cells are the delta cells, which constitute about 10% of the islets and produce a hormone which is called somatostatin. This hormone inhibits the release of both insulin and glucagon. The fourth type of cells are the PP cells. These are very small in number and they produce a hormone which is called pancreatic polypeptide. Dear students, we shall discuss insulin and glucagon hormones in detail in this topic and now we shall discuss, first we shall discuss the stimuli for the release of insulin hormone from the pancreas. The major stimulus for the beta cells to secrete insulin is high blood glucose level. Release of insulin is also stimulated by some other factors which include glucagon, growth hormone, gastric inhibitory peptide or GIP, epinephrine and elevated levels of amino acids. These all stimulate the release of insulin from beta cells. Dear students, we shall now see the effects of insulin. Insulin has major effects on carbohydrate, fats and proteins metabolism. Iska jo sabse major effect hai, wo hai ki ye blood mein glucose level ko kam karti hai. Is maksad ke liye, it increases the uptake of glucose by the cells of liver, muscles and adipose tissue. It also stimulates glycogenesis in the liver and muscles. Glycogenesis means conversion of glucose into glycogen, which occurs in, in the liver and muscles. Insulin also stimulates lipogenesis in liver and adipose tissue, yani ke synthesis of complex lipids from fatty acids. This process is also stimulated by insulin. Insulin also stimulates the uptake of amino acids into the liver and muscles. Is there se tino jo major components hai nutrients ke, un tino ki metabolism ke upar insulin critical effects rakti hai. Dear students, the deficiency of insulin 
causes a disease which is called diabetes mellitus, which is of two types, diabetes mellitus type 1 and diabetes mellitus type 2. The absolute deficiency of insulin, that is, the reduced increase, uh, uh, release of, reduced release of insulin by the beta cells causes the diabetes mellitus type 1. Jab insulin hi kam hogi, to as a result, diabetes mellitus type 1 hogi. Lekin, jo dusi type hai, that is the relative deficiency of insulin. That is because of the defective insulin receptors in the target tissues. This causes diabetes mellitus type 2. Dear students, diabetes leads to hyperglycemia, that is high blood glucose level. Glycosuria, that is urine mein glucose ka ana. Reduced ability to utilize glucose by the cell. Also, reduced ability to synthesize lipids and proteins. Moreover, accumulation of non-metabolized fat particles in the blood which appear as ketone bodies. These all happen because of disturbances of carbohydrate, lipid and protein metabolism which are actually affected and controlled by insulin. जब ये तीनों major components की metabolism effect होगी, तो उसका नतीजा बहुत सारे organs के defective functions की form में आएगा. इसमें जो diabetes के patients हैं, उनमें जो accessory symptoms produce होते हैं, वो हैं cataract in the eye, cardiovascular diseases और renal, यानी good day की diseases. Dear students, now we shall discuss the other hormone produced by pancreas that is glucagon. Glucagon is secreted in response to hyperglycemia. Jab blood mein glucose level, uh, uh, sorry, uh, it uh, is produced in response to hypoglycemia. Jab blood mein glucose ki concentration kam ho jati hai, to glucagon produce hota hai. It increases glucose level in the blood by lipolysis and glycogenolysis and by stimulating gluconeogenesis. Is tarah se iske jitne bhi effects hain, they are just opposite to that of insulin. Is tarah ke opposite effects ko hum kehte hain antagonistic actions ya antagonistic effects. These antagonistic effects are important in the appropriate in maintaining the appropriate level of glucose in the blood.